Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, my name's Jill, and I'm I'm basically just showing up. <laughs> Sometimes there's uh, lots of forethought and research and uh, Dharma talk written. Um, and sometimes I'm just able to just show up. And this is one of those times. So I hope that it may also give you a sense of permission to just show up, just show up for practice, even, even when you're tired or you feel like, you know, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to just watch some Netflix or <laughs> just go do something else. Um, it's helpful to just show up and see. It might be a time that really uh, nourishes you. And for me, uh, it's nourishing for me to be here with you and to be with Sangha uh, community and uh the way we hold each other to practice because um yeah when we're tired this time of the day or just any time of day when there's a lot happening it can be hard to sit down and do our own practice and so we really support each other by um showing up here together and um our our spring retreat starts tomorrow so I, I also wasn't able to, you know, I've been working on that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and when I was thinking about to, earlier today, I was like, I, I knew I couldn't, uh, you know, go off into another direction from what I've been working on for the retreat. So I was like, just showing up and what came to mind was empty handed and open hearted <laughs> that I come just empty handed um, and hopefully as open, open heartedly to myself and to, to all of us here practicing together. And um, mm, yeah, it reminds me of like when I feel a lot of uh, leaning forward into next moments or into my to-do list or into, the, you know, what's coming next in life that mm, it creates tension and kind of this lifting of the shoulders and a little bit of leaning forward and, and my gut gets tight because it, you can probably feel that in your own body if you just like think about your to-do list for a moment, you know, if you're not sitting back in a chair and relaxing, um, you know, maybe your shoulders hike up or your your jaw gets tight or, and um, also the belly often contracts. And uh, so when I notice those sensations, it reminds me of... Uh, a very simple meditation and daily life instruction that is useful one to just have on on file uh, as a as a pop up you know in daily life which is back and down just those words just to remind yourself to rest back and down mm, this sensation we often don't even know we're doing it because we're so used to this lifted and forwardness um leaning into the next moment and to just remember back and down it, it as often as you can through a day is a beautiful reset of feeling your back body literally and resting back into that support and and kind of downward like down the spine into the tail into the hips into the heels um it's a it's kind of like when we say you know take a few breaths <laughs> it's that kind of thing where it just resets you uh it's grounding and um centering yeah, to just remember back and down. And uh, mm, 
the other part of it's kind of a mashup of two two things is um so remembering back and down and feeling that and then soft belly so soft belly meditation comes from uh well as far as i know uh the source of it was from stephen levine maybe maybe he heard it from another teacher um in in his book a year to live and this book um I did this as a year-long course uh, with a group, a big group of people, um, facilitated by Vinny Ferraro. Yes, um, sorry, should have known that before I got myself there. Um, it was a great experience, and um, some of us continued on in our small group for some time afterwards. So anyways, in this book, A Year to Live, Stephen Levine offers this soft belly meditation, and he offers it in a chapter on fear, uh, the fear of fear, and it's a, a short, just a few pages, but it's a really helpful practice to counter this, this daily life activation that that is... Um, having its way with us uh, often often without even knowing that we're in a state of fear it's because you know it's not like a big shock fear that we're aware of but it's these little micro fears con that contract us of like the fear of, mm, that keeps us protecting ourselves in many many micro and macro ways of course but the these uh, these little mm, fear of things not going how i want fear of not getting what i think i need or want fear of someone not seeing me the way i want them to see me fear of um uh, yeah fear of loss fear of aging all the, all the things and Plus the constant impact of of the world and, and violence it creates these activated states in our body. And um, Stephen, I, I don't know if he says these words exactly, but teaches that the, this hardness in the belly, this contraction in the belly, is a way of armoring and protecting the heart. Um, and that makes sense to me. So just going, I don't really, yeah, as I say, I'm coming pretty empty handed, but we're just going to practice with this, um, these cues of resting back and down. And then I'll, I'll use a lot of uh, Stephen's guidance from his, his offering here of soft belly meditation, and I hope it's a, a support for you as well. Okay, yay. I said it would be short and it was, yay. I'll be glad when that happens. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else? Oh, I'm just hearing birds outside. Ah, so nice. So nice. All right. So let's uh, adjust and get comfortable for um, this practice of really uh, being receptive to ourselves and, and to our nervous systems and our bodies. <clears throat> you might like to lay down or adjust your lights or uh, see if you need anything warmer so that your muscles can relax, hopefully. And so 
to help the nervous system relax, it can be helpful to mm, see if you need any movements, if there's tension in the neck or other or shoulders, see if you need any movement or a little massage or turning your head side to side. So that you're really showing the body that you're paying attention and taking care so that when you do come into stillness, it feels really um, not uh, an idea that you're forcing upon yourself, but that the body feels ready to become still. And uh, as I was mentioning, Stephen's, Stephen Levine's book, A Year to Live, um, when somebody asked him, if I only have a year in which to soften my belly, where do I begin? And the answer was, in your heart. So there's this deep relationship between heart and belly. And then notice what it feels like to let your attention really float back, back, back towards the back of your skull, back of your shoulders, the whole back spine. Back of the hips. Remember when I was a yoga teacher, the, the anatomy of the heart is actually the heart organ is closer to the back of the body than it is the front. So you could perhaps feel an awareness of your heart near the back body. And feeling perhaps the support of the chair you're on, or if you're laying down, feel that support and let yourself really rest into it. Feel the strength and support of the back body that is steady without tension. And then let that back body awareness really settle down down towards the tailbone, the hips, buttocks, feet. So that perhaps you feel the shoulders drop down or the jaw, lower jawbone feels a bit heavier. Feel the support, create a body memory of this cue back and down.
I know there's a Dharma teacher. It might be Ruth King that teaches a strong back, soft front meditation. So now that we feel this back and down, we'll begin to practice soft belly meditation. You might like to take a few slightly deeper breaths and feel the body that you are breathing in. When we're in a receptive posture, we can feel the body expanding and contracting with each breath. Letting awareness rest in the soft belly and rest with focus on the rise and fall of the belly or the abdomen. Awareness resting in soft belly and receiving the beginning of each out breath the middle of each breath. And the end of each breath. Like soft waves expanding and contracting. Inhale, beginning, middle, end. Exhale, beginning, middle, end. Resting with this constantly changing flow of sensation. Each inhalation wave and each exhalation wave. Ebbing and flowing.
as much as possible, begin to soften all around these sensations. Notice how the breath is breathing itself in a softening belly. The body and the belly are just receiving the breath, receiving the sensations and experiencing life in the body. And awareness is just knowing. Breath begins to breathe itself in new openness. Inviting softness to the muscles that have held fear for so long. Softening the tissues, the blood vessels, the flesh. Letting go of the holding of a lifetime, breath by breath. Softening around and with the grief, the distrust, the anger held so hard in the belly. Levels and levels of softening, levels and levels of letting go. Moment by moment, allow each breath its full expression 
in soft belly. Letting any hardness that remains float, let it float in something softer and kinder. Any thoughts that are arising just float up like bubbles. And they pass through. Thoughts come and we let them go, floating like bubbles. When there's nothing needed to hold on to, we can begin to let the healing in, into this softness, and letting pain go. Feel how the softening belly opens a passageway to the heart. In soft belly, there is room to be born at last and room to die when the moment comes. There is the vast spaciousness in which to heal, to discover our unbounded nature.
Letting go into the softness. Any fear just floats in the gentle vastness that we call the heart. In these last few minutes of the practice, as you rest here in this soft, receptive belly heart awareness, see if you can create a cellular memory, a touch point to remember this felt experience so that you can recall it and bring it, it into daily life. Soft belly practice can accompany us throughout a day. And in a moment, when you hear the three bells, notice if any tension slides back into the deeper inner layers of the belly. And see if you can recognize it, if it does happen, and invite softening again.
Well, as I mentioned, this is a helpful practice to use these reminders in daily life, just as check-ins many times, soft belly or back and down, both. Um, and this kind of just guiding yourself can be a helpful way to um, relax the nervous system, to move into sleep. Uh, if you're having difficulty with sleep, you might try soft belly meditation and just guide yourself into um, feeling this or play the recording again, if you like. Um, I hope it's helpful to you. And uh, thanks for joining us. Hmm. Trying to find my recording button. There it is. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>